We're in the NFC locker room after the Pro Bowl here. We're with Cowboys Pro Bowler Jason Witten. I got, it's got to be fun for you to come back here again and do it one more time. Yeah, it's been a great week. You know, I always enjoy being around this. I'm honored and humbled to be mentioned with some of these guys and, uh, you know, spend the week with them. I remember being a young player and uh, so many great players and now have gold jackets sharing some of their knowledge with me. And really, I just try to do the same this week, just spend time with these guys and share some of the experiences I've had over the years. You know, it's funny. We cover receivers all the time. and There's just certain people that are always open. What's the magic behind that? We asked Kyle Rudolph. He said he tried to steal as many tricks as he could. He couldn't quite figure out how you're just always open. How <laughs> well, secrets in the dirt. You know, it's secrets just doing it over and over again. And, you know, uh, you, you make sure that you want to share that knowledge. And, and um, you know, over the course of my career, I've been, been very fortunate to have good players around me that have helped me. You know, it's one, one thing that's fun about the Pro Bowl is you get to bring your family down. I saw you with your boys down there playing. Tell, me, tell, tell the folks what's special about that, to bring your family and get them involved in your career. Yeah, I mean, you know, you only hope that you can play long enough that they can see it and be a part of it. And certainly I realized a long time ago, you know, it was important scoring touchdowns and winning games, competing for a Super Bowl is, you know, just as important for me was the legacy as a dad and let my kids understand, see it, be around it, soak it in, and hopefully in their own way, uh, chase their dreams and whatever they want to do in life. And so it's been a great week for them now that they're old enough to actually remember it and get the experience in this. And it's been a great time for our family. How many more years you got before they can actually beat you in the pattern out back? <laughs> well, I think I got a couple more years on them, but they're closing the gap pretty quickly. Last question for Cowboy fans out there. When the season finally comes, you're used to getting one day off a week. What do you now do to relax, get yourself re-energized for the 2018 season? Well, you got to take time. But, you know, for me, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm 35 years old. I feel like I've never worked a day in my life. I love this process. I enjoy the journey of starting back over again and going through that. Uh, certainly, I'll have time to get away and, and relax. But, uh, you know, I, I'll love getting back in there and going at it. So, on my free time coaching my kids in basketball right now and uh, I got two little girls at home and so that takes up a lot of my time too and so just love being around and when I'm not busy. Last question for you. You know we do the NFC North reporting normally and here's the complaint from Minnesota about you. It is in Madden 18. Whatever they do, no matter who they play, when they got, go against the Dallas Cowboys, you get 16, 18 catches. We want to know, did you make a payment to EA Sports to get that type of openness? <laughs> actually, I, th I, I actually was complaining that my rating wasn't as high as I needed to be, but you know what? That's a good problem to have and they throw it to you and tell those guys, hey, you know, it's just uh, tough luck. You know, that's the way it's going to be for a little bit. Absolutely. Listen, I appreciate your time today. Good luck in 18. All right, thanks so much.